and welcome to the What the Fork Monarchs preview show. Myself, Graham Muncy, joined by Dave Harroway as we look ahead to a massive fixture for both clubs. It's Championship action on Friday, Dave, and it's the Oxford Cheetahs in town for the first time in many a long year. 25 years ago, it was the last time Oxford came to Armadale. It was an important match the last time they came. It was a second leg of the Keel Cup final. Maybe not quite as important this time, but absolutely crucial for both for those playoffs, hopes. Oh, it's massive. I mean, I think when the Roman League tables uh, starting to work itself out uh, and it's looking like us, Oxford, Scunthorpe and one or two others still hoping to sneak in, but yeah. looking like that'll be that for that kind of last place. And uh, and yeah, no, it's crucial. I mean, Ox it's Friday's actually Oxford's last away meeting in the season, so it's their, really their last chance to, 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 to boost their points and do big damage to one of their main rivals, us. Whereas for us, it's not the same again. Fridays, we talk about it every week. You've got to, got to win your home matches. That's where you're solid. And so against this crucial the opponents that in the battle for the playoffs, and we've got Scunthorpe next week. As I said, the other one's probably going to be there or thereabouts. Yeah. Got to make it count. Yeah, got to make it count. And of course, we'll get the the thoughts, I guess, of, of the camps. And as always, we'll look at the Mike Hunter's archives, blast from the past. And we go back to that Keel Cup semi-final, sorry, final, second leg. Um, and it's heat 10 from that night all the way back in 1997. Um, Dave, we record this on a on a Tuesday, Tuesday night. I think what date was the week there. That's how uh, that must be a sign age. Kind of a few question marks on both teams at the minute. Um, we know that the Lassie is still out. Um, I think James Sargent was, was maybe hoping to be back, but it might come a week too soon. So by the time this goes there, it could be that we've got news on, on a guest placement there. Same for Oxford. I'll see Kyle Newman's been out. Um, and Josh McDonald, I believe, took another prang at Ashfield uh, last week, just back from a, a big off as well. So kind of as we, we talk, we can't quite run through full one to sevens or maybe one to sixes in this case. We're either replacement for both. But, you know, key for both teams and. And if you look, at it's two teams that, that probably match up quite evenly on paper. You know, a strong top two for both, Sam and Josh, against Scotty Nichols and, and Troy Batchor. You know, a middle-order pairing that you know, are, are looking to improve their averages. Obviously, Kai and, and Paco um, up against the return of Aaron Summers. That was a, a kind of a surprise for everyone coming back and, and Cameron Heaps. Um, and then Dylan Rummel, probably the, the stronger of the two reserves for Oxford, would, would be the sort of James Sargent equivalent. And then Josh McDonald and Jacob Hook. So, you know, you can see why the two teams are in similar positions on the league. Um, of course, you mentioned it's Oxford's last away match. That might just add a wee bit extra pressure on them. If they've had the knock of having lost four points um, from Newcastle folding, and, and we do wish all at Newcastle of promotion and fans, etc., a quick recovery to the track. We hope that this is just a temporary thing and we'll see them back in 2023. But it's a, it's a big match for both. But if I was a neutral looking in, I'd maybe see. Oxford are the ones that will be chasing the points slightly more. Definitely. I mean, first of all, I'd just like to echo your thoughts for, for Newcastle. It's, it's terrible to see any track having to close, particularly mid-season. So we wish all the fans, riders and everybody associated with the club all the best. And hopefully we'll see them next year. But yeah, I mean, Oxford, it's their, it's their first season back. So they, they maybe suffered a bit from not really having any kind of home track advantage early yeah. on and dropped a, dropped a couple of points. They pull got a couple of riders that maybe weren't at their best form. I'm thinking of Scott Nichols and Cameron Heaps is having another kind of season that doesn't quite match up to his full expectations. But in saying that last year, you know, he came the same with Kent and he, he was excellent for Kent. He obviously knows yeah. I'm doing really well from that season they had with us. He's a he's a great rider at his best. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely going to be a tough one. Nichols is possibly the best. Visitor last year, yeah. uh, and as we say, almost every week, Sam's probably about the best rider in the league. So, uh, so yeah, you're de you're definitely right with the the teams matching up, and uh, it'll be interesting, especially I mean, it's talk about we've still got to go to Oxford as well, and yeah. sometimes in the makeup of the team, I'm looking and thinking, maybe we got a better chance at Oxford than <laughs> with the makeup of their team, but uh, but we've got to put their thoughts in our head put them to the sword on Friday night and that's potentially a big blow to their hopes if we can we can we can do that on Friday. Yeah, and of course you mentioned that there, you know, uh, I guess we when you've been at a track for 25 years, every team's gonna come with Armadale pedigree. Uh, but you know Scott Nichols 
probably the best visitor. I mean, I think his pass on, on Sam Masters last year would probably be my vote for Ryder of the season. Um, Troy Batra, was he there with Kent at the end of last season as well? Yeah, um, yeah. I can't remember. I think he was, wasn't he? Yeah, um, right. He a couple of heats that night, now I think about it. Aaron Summers, you know, looked like he'd never been off the bike in that, that match. He was on the BSN at Glasgow last week, finishing with a good score. Cameron Heaps and, of course, Dolan Rummel guested for the Monarch just a couple of weeks ago in that Cable Cup quarterfinal against Glasgow and had some cracking heats, not less than, I think we picked heat eight. As one of our, we showed two races that night. We picked heat eight, Dolan Rummel, third to, fourth to second blast. Um, you know, so we all know that the capabilities are there um, and certainly Oxford are travelling with confidence, as Dolan Rummel told me. Dolan, obviously, you, you've been up at Armadale already this season, guessing for the Monarchs, you know, come up. With the Cheetahs, and and I guess it's a match that the Oxford will be heading up looking for points. Sure. Scott Nichols and Troy Batchelor speak for themselves. Aaron Summers and Cameron Heaps, former Monarchs, yourself. I think you got double digits just the other week. So it's one that Oxford will be targeting for points as they chase those playoffs. Yeah, yeah, no, I think uh, we're all looking forward to it. I mean, I think, um, you know, after our last go up north, up in Glasgow, you know, I think we gave them a good run for their money. But, uh, yeah, I think they proved to be the the more dominant team on the night. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, the whole team, including myself, are quite hungry for it. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, kind of, I think a lot of people watched that match and intrigue. It was on the British Speedway Network at Aaron Summers' return, and it looked like he'd never been off the bike, you know, considering coming in halfway through the season when everyone's maybe... 15, 20 matches ahead of him. What a performance that was for his first match back. Yeah, yeah, no, he was really impressive, to be honest. It's, you know, it amazes me when I see guys like that that, you know, can take time off the bike that he has. And, I mean, you know, he hops right back on. And, like you said, it's like he's never really taken much time off. You know, I think, uh, you know, that that's super impressive to myself just because I think, you know, I've been – I've kind of always considered myself somebody who – you know, I have to be on the bike constantly, consistently to really get the confidence to be able to go out and, you know, ride and do what he did. So, yeah, it's very impressive on my end. Yeah, and then from your own point of view, obviously your your second year in the UK now it means you've you know, been in a lot of places at least once before. You know, you kind of maybe get used to the setups and stuff and then, then having somebody like, you know, as we said, Scott and Troy in the pits with you and, and Jason Crump as team manager, you know, just how much has, has this year been easier and how much are you earning? Whereas obviously last year, everything would have been brand new. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, considering last year was my first year, you know, I obviously learned a ton, but, you know, it's kind of almost, you know, your first year can be a bit overwhelming just with how much information you kind of, you know, get flown your way. So, yeah, I've taken much more of a liking to this season. I think I've been able to get a lot more comfortable you know and I enjoy you know the time I have with my teammates and uh yeah I mean having Troy and Scotty in the pits you know if you know if I have any questions and anything like that you know I'm well aware that I could just go up to them and ask them and you know they'll give me you know not just you know what they think but you know I know it's an educated response and I know that it's something that uh yeah, they're they're not going to steer me wrong, especially you know with being teammates and all that. So, yeah, no, they're they're a good bunch to have on the team, and yeah, I'm very uh, definitely like to use that as to my advantage. Yeah, and then of course the the return of Oxford probably been the the biggest success story in, in British Speedway this year, and you know, all know that the hard work that the guys like Jamie, you know, Courtney's putting behind the scenes and stuff, but. I guess now for you guys on track, the the reward for all that hard work and, and for the fans showing up every week would be to make it into those playoffs and have a crack at that league title. Yeah, exactly. I think that's that's really our main goal at the moment. You know, I think you just, you know, being a new team on the circuit, you know, I think it, it's a bit tougher. Um, I think everybody going to Oxford is like a, uh, you know, it's, it's not much of a home track advantage just because it's it's kind of new to everybody. But now that we've gotten some lap times and or some track time and all of that, um, you know, it's, we're developing it. So, yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously with how you said, Jamie, and, you know, all the boys have put in a ton of work behind the scenes. So, you know, I think now it's just – and they've done a great job at it. So now I think it's just our turn to return the favor and, you know, do what we can to make playoffs. Yep, so Dave, Dylan Rummel and, and Oxford travel north through a confidence, but, you know, they'll be met with a team there that 
come off a couple of weeks break and, and maybe not at a bad time, um, you know, for the Monarch. So, yeah, you always want to keep that momentum going, but I don't think Sam and Josh could have kept their schedules up for much longer. You know, the ridiculous was it eight matches in eight days across three countries or something for, for both of them or something along those lines. Uh, so they've all been happy to have a few days off. And we can have confidence in the recent form at Armory. Of course, I mentioned about that, that match against Glasgow. You know, I don't think anyone was really expecting us to build a 16-point lead from that. And more of the same required. You know, Sam and Josh, they can go through the card against anyone. Kai's coming to the party. Paco, always capable of winning any race he's in. And young Jacob, of course, he just seems to get better by the week as well. So plenty of optimism in the Monarchs camp as well. Definitely. We always knew that with the team at the start of the season. You know, we had... We had the new guys and we would need them to take time to build in there. And maybe not we would like them just to be a wee bit further ahead. And but that's but especially Jacob, that's gonna be asking asking quite a lot. But it is starting to get towards the, the business end of the season where the where the prizes are handed out. And if you want to be in those in those playoffs, you, you need to be making scores and Jacob keeps he keeps plugging away with those important points that, that make the difference. And then and obviously uh, as you say, Sam and Josh been really on fantastic form. Had another excellent weekend in Poland. We had, uh, Kai and Jacob both managed to get a ride at Milton Hall on Sunday. So they have had some laps on them despite missing a, missing a week. And uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's a great opportunity. Hopefully, we get another glorious Friday evening and uh, some cracking racing. And uh, I'm, I'm desperate for this. This is going to be a, a great. Great match this weekend, I reckon. Yep, good match ahead, Dave. And as we said, confidence in the home camp is just as high as well. Uh, but talking of Oxford being one of our rivals, they're there on Friday and they've got Aaron Summers in their team now and he's did pretty well in his first yeah, match. Yeah, so that makes that quite yeah, a, a tough, tough picture. Stuff. But um, it doesn't matter how tough they are, we've got to take these people on and, and we've got to, to win at home. Uh, in these fixtures, it's essential. Uh, yes, you can look at them and then say they've got people who have done very, very well at Armadale in the past. Um, but surely they've not done any, well, any better than what our top two do each week. So we, 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 yeah. it's up to us. Yeah. It's up to us. to. Um, we've got to win these matches. They're essential for us to win if we're going to be in the playoffs. And it's as simple as that, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we're expecting James back on Friday. Uh, yes, so. yes, um, I spoke to him. Um, yeah. That is the plan, and and lastly, the following week is, I believe the yeah. the time the time schedule that uh, they're both giving me. So yeah. So I, mean, I don't know if Lassie knows he's coming back in time for an away match at Stumthorpe, but I'm sure he'll be <laughs> Um But also uh, on Friday, there it'll mean that James. It's quite a lot on him straight away in his first match with well, Leisure Replacement. That's unfortunately, but that's the way it is. He says he's ready and uh, yeah. Um, yeah. that's what he's going to do. Him against Dylan Rome overcomes Well, the yeah, that's, that's the way it is. And, of course, we've um, pushed him on to tell him how good he was uh, when it suited us. But um, we yeah. welcome him back. As I say, he did very well for us, so we welcome him back. But we hope he doesn't do quite so well this time, yeah. so... Yeah, and of course Nichols' bachelor well, summers is quite strong. We need Kai to go well. Yeah, and um, we we need all all our riders to produce something. It's as simple as that. We we can't really carry yeah. passengers. Um, so let's hope they all get down to and do what they did against the club. Hello, oh, Dave. It's uh, another Friday is nearly upon us, and uh, we never like to leave without having a look back to a previous visit of the opposition. But to go some for this one, of course, Oxford, a real success story coming back to, to speed with this year. We hadn't seen them since 1997. The last time was a Keogh Cup final. We went down to Oxford on the Friday, a rare Friday night away from Armadale on 147 43. Oxford headed back up to Armadale on the Saturday, looking to turn that back. Here's Heat 10 from that match now. Connect Schoenberg, pointless so far, comes from gate three, and Robert Erickson's out in gate four. Robert's made a decent start and he's gone ahead. That's crucial. And Blair Scott's in third. Will Beveridge in between them. Blair trying to go round, but he's maybe out of position there. 
looking for the drive around the outside. He's almost in line to catch Beveridge there. He's going to get caught on the outside there if he's not careful though. He's really giving it a go, but too much, surely. Ericsson's away ahead. Oh, look at Scott. He's got round them. What a ride. Can he stay ahead of Thunberg here? He's under great pressure from the Swede, driving up the inside of him. What a battle by Scott. What a battle. He's into second. Thunberg bashing his handlebars there as he tries to come back on the young Scottish rider. If Scott does this, he's almost certainly won the cup for the Monarchs. His last turn, he deserves it, and he's got it. What a second place, fantastic. Yep, a cracking effort there, Dave. And, and you know, the, the first bit of silverware for, for what was to come a pretty trophy laden spell, maybe not so much in the early years, but certainly later on at Armadale. Um, and wouldn't it be nice? We, we don't know what's happening with the track per se, but you know, it'd be lovely if we could finish the year with some silverware. And to do that, we need to get into the playoffs. And to get into the playoffs, we probably need to go unblemished at home the rest of the way. Certainly, as you mentioned, against those around us, um, starting with Oxford on Friday. And Dave, what is it we like to say? Oh, find the right speed with night. This is now this is a huge match this weekend. We need we need everybody there buzz and get a, get the team up for it and uh, get ourselves ready to go roll us into those playoffs. That's uh, that'll fit nice on a tea towel there for anyone. Um but yeah, Friday night, that's the place to be Armadale, of course. Tickets are available in Vermonarch.co.uk. Click on the tickets link. Uh, you can pay cash at the gate. Um so that's always an option for you if it's a last minute decision. Or if you can't make it along or you're watching from Oxford and, and, and can't make the trip up, then EMTV has you covered for the stream. Again, that's edinburghmonarchs.co.uk slash on the EMTV link and buy your stream for that. So, Dave, that'll just about do it. Um, we'll be back on Saturday morning to look back on all the action. Um, as always, we'll hear from both camps and we'll show our ride of the night. Um, but another big week ahead. Uh, for one, can't wait. We'll see you on Friday.